like Grand Blue Fantasy, there's a guild war going on, you know. Crap. Even in Princess Connect, there's like, there's supposed to be a clan battle. But anyway. Starting up, starting up a reading session. You know, give me, give me a quick second. Where are you, V2 remote? I need to change, or I need to become grossly incandescent. Oh wait, you guys would be able to notice it from above. Hmm. Eh, people have seen it, it's probably used to it, and it's, it's all good. Give me one second. I'll disappear from the main screen. If you look close enough or the screen lets you look at it, I I don't care at this rate. It's been a long day. It's been a fun day. I've been having fun. I hope that y'all are as well. But if you notice, I'm going to grow grossly incandescent. Alright, we are now grossly incandescent. <laughs> okay. <sighs> Cyberpunk bartender action, Valhalla. Now it's time to, at least for a brief moment, mix drinks and talk shit. Why the marathon? Why the choice? Mm hmm. Just wanted to do it. Now, before I fully dive into the workday on there, on here. One, ten thousand fucking dollars, ten thousand fucking dollar. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Every time I see that rent, every time I see that rent tag, I just ten thousand dollar rent, ten thousand dollar rent. But anyway. Rent's due on the 30th. Please make sure your account has the necessary $10,000 or you'll be evicted. I not think I'm going to end up with that $10,000 after these shifts. I'm trying. But bro. But yeah. Gonna do night 15 on my birthday because... Why not? Here are Mickey. S. <laughs> right. It's just, it's just, it's just a simple guy spelling a simple word. What's going on, King Wolf? Just a regular guy. Spelling a regular word. <laughs> Nothing out of line here. Either it's bugging or you redeem you managed to redeem it twice. But yeah. How you doing, Chief? Okay. Not much. That pay you, big dog. I was playing a fighting game for a second. I was playing a uh, Guilty Gear Strive. Um, gonna do a quick read of this. 
Then I got some really old shit to share. Then I got some new shit to share. Uh, and then fucking I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. I just wanted to stream until I stopped streaming and I feel like it's been going well so far. Um I feel like the last time we conversed, you were asking about um Hmm. Oh, I'm well aware. I'm well aware. Yeah, that is Klee's birthday as well. <laughs> yeah, if I'm correct, Wolf, last time we talked, you were looking into getting into streaming yourself? Or do I have you confused with someone? Because if I do, then I, I, I understand. I do apologize. Like, how's that worked out for you? If you did start, I mean. And then there's also the other question of, uh, oh, well, not so much of a question, but giving you a heads up just in case, um, just in case I ain't say it or y'all didn't catch wind of it either. The next year's convention is supposed to be on Valentine's Day weekend. So from the 11th to the 13th. So like from the 11th to the 13th on that particular weekend will be the next Comic Con. I still have to get some stuff. Yeah, that sounds about right. If you're getting parts to like build your own thing, then yeah, it may be a bit of a struggle. <laughs> Where at? Same place as always at at the BJCC in Birmingham, Alabama. Yeehaw, how ye, and a uh, sweet home, and a uh, roll tide, a uh, war eagle, um, go blazers. It, yeah. But yeah. So feel free to mark that time for there. Uh, it's almost a guarantee I'll be in the area. Almost. Will I be stressed? Absolutely. Neck hurts a little bit. I think this marathon stream is having my computer go, I fucking quit. It's been a while since we hung out together. I know, right? I've been stuck working so much and regardless of what occurs, I may not be working much longer, but I'll be finishing up school finally. Um, and as far as my own, uh, my own means of transportation, I'm currently incapacitated right now. That should change, uh, should change eventually, but man, it's rough. Um, feel free to DM me, like, wherever, whatever area you're staying at, and I can try and see if we, if, uh, me and, me and Fever, me and Eddie can come through. Um, as far as my understanding, as far as my understanding, though, um, I remember... I remember Artemis also mentioning having a hangout and stuff. So if you still have any contact with him or need to contact through other folks, I can link y'all up together too. He's supposed to be doing something, I think this coming weekend or next week, something like that. But I can't make it because I have work. Fuck work. Alright, 
speaking of work, <laughs> I've been sitting here for a little too long. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this uh, shift started. It's going to be, well, I'll, this is the only game where I actually start reading, I, why I actually read everything because come on, man, it's time we, you're supposed to sit back, relax, chill, read to. Some fucked up things happen, but yo, yeah, this game's dope. I, I highly recommend anyone that hasn't gotten it to uh, buy Valhalla and mix drinks and save lives. So anyway, it's December the 27th on a Tuesday. That ain't a coincidence. Good evening. Hey Jill, <laughs> let's have a New Year's party this Saturday. Isn't that a bit too soon? It's probably gonna be, you probably will not tell the difference inside of my voice unless you just got super hearing or for some reason my voice actually shifts when I change tone. I'm gonna try my best, but to those that haven't been in here, it's poor voice acting. I never expect anything special. <laughs> Why? Someone famous get killed at a New Year's party? No, I mean, never mind. Sure, I'm in for it. Great. And Gil? He's coming too. I mean, it's not like he has anything else to do. Hey. No, I mean, where is he? He was escorting a client of his to the station. Should be back any second now. Back. See? So you coming to a New Year's party too, Gil? It's not like I have anything else to do, so... Told ya! We're depressing people. Oh yeah, the kid from the other day, Gabby? I think you called her, uh... Asked me to give you this. I believe it's a note. A note? Gabby, let's see. First of all, I want to apologize for my behavior before. I was still hurt by my sister's death and it wasn't fair to take it, take out all the stress on you, let alone put the blame on you. And so, it feels weird to ask this of you after how I treated you, but I really want to talk to you. I want to catch up, to chat for a while, to do what you were doing with me before I lashed out. I want to understand this freedom you talked about, the fear that drove you to a fight with my sister. I'll go back to the bar on the 31st. I won't take much of your time. If you don't want to see me after all that, I'll understand. But please, I really want to talk to you. Wow, that girl has a big vocabulary. It was always a smart one. Hmm? The 31st is written in different handwriting. Oh yeah. She asked me when you would be here and relatively free. So I told her about the party. I also assumed you'd say yes to the party, which might have not been the best idea now that I think about it. Boss, I'm having second thoughts about coming to the party. What? Why? Because I really don't want to face Gabby again. <sighs> now it's coming back to me. What drove me to never go back and apologize after all these years? Fear and shame. Shame because I know I made a hideously stupid mistake and it's painful to face your mistakes. And fear of what they might say. With Lenore, we never broke up formally, so I was always afraid that if we were to meet again, she'd break up with me. I don't want Gabby to tell me that she hates me to my face. Lenore was in the right to break up with me and Gabby is in the right to hate me, but I don't want her to. Maybe if I never see her again and she'll tell, never tell me that and... Jill, you... Eh? Am I really being called right now? Hmm. Give me a... Give me
it was a phone call. Um, it was just a quick heads up that folks are heading home. Where's the game? There's the game. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Jill, you... Yeah. Jill, you... <laughs> I can't... I can't... I can't Dana right now. <laughs> Jill, you idiot! Huh? You're thinking backwards! Didn't the letter say she wanted to understand you? You bail out on this, she will hate you. Not only that, but you're getting a new chance here. You want to live the rest of your life running from another memory? Didn't you just say to Armitage that you hate it feeling like that? Armitage. Armitage? Titty hacker. Alma, right. I don't know what happened when you fought with that girl's sister, but now you have a chance to make amends. Not only that, you have us right in your back. So I want you to think about this. One day of fear or a lifetime filled with regret. Which one do you pick? Yeah. 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 You're right. I hate it feeling like that. I won't run away this time. Good. Because I would have gone to your apartment and dragged you out of there if need be. Hey, boss. Thanks. That's what friends are for. Yeah. Anyway, let's... Let's start today. Okay. Now normally, every time I do this stream, every time I normally did these streams, I would just shuffle through songs. There was a long hiatus. I forgot in, or I forgot in the order that I've done any of these shuffling in. So for this go around, I'm just going to go at number six. <laughs> number six, pick one. Go left, pick one, go right, pick one, and kind of work like that. Then one more over here. And then one more from one. What, about, what is every day is night? Okay, I do remember that one. All right. <sighs> ah. Of all the things that you've caught me in, doggo, you, you literally just woke up? Do you need head pets and belly rubs? Birthday, Kara. Happy birthday again. Are you having a good day? That's a lot of energy coming from someone who just woke up. And then again, you are a dog. I've been streaming for going on eight hours. And I don't really want to stop anytime soon. So we'll see what happens. Is that a yes to the head pats and belly rubs or just a yes to you waking up with all that energy? How am I? Um, well, I've been going through fits of I'm tired to I'm wide awake to I had to play League of Legends to stay awake. But there's a lot of different games that were played. And after this session, um, there's some, there's some old stuff I want to share. There's some new stuff I want to share. And after that, I, I don't know. Today is dedicated care. I wouldn't go that far. I'm just, just playing some games that I enjoy. I tried out new games too. Well, a new game. League of Legends. I mean, you could leave, but League of Legends already passed. I mean, I had half the mind to start off the stream with Apex Legends, but I didn't. 
anyway. Time to mix drinks and save line. I'm also... Oh, right. While it's on the back of my mind, I'm also chilling inside the Star Cypher and Andromeda Discord. If you guys want to join up, kick it with me and hang out, you know, feel free to do so. Let me know if you join it. I am the only mod there and I have to okay it. So, yeah. So if you'd like to just sit around and talk, that is what I'm currently doing. I would, the only request I'd probably have is let me focus on this one. Like, this is probably the only game I'd ask for the focus on. Because I normally put these sessions up on on YouTube and they go up every Friday. Almost without fail, every Friday, no matter when I stream it, it's gonna go up on like a Friday. Not the coming Friday, but literally night 15, I think. YouTube is probably up to like night nine or night eight or maybe night ten, something like that. And it's crazy. Okay, maybe I'll join when if you're still streaming while I finally fully waken up. That'd be nice. I'd like that. Seriously though. That's the second note that stirred such feelings in me. Second one. Two weeks ago, I got another note in the mail. This one is from Lenore. Is that the envelope you took away from me in a panic? Yep. You haven't opened it? Why not open it with Gabby? You're facing one fear, might as well face the other. Maybe. Don't push her, Chief. Gil does not sound like he has a deep voice, but I don't have much variation. I'm sorry. I'm not. I just know she's a cape. I just know she's capable of doing all that. I'll go secure stuff for the party. Call me if you need anything. Keep it up, Jill. Thanks. Oh, it's her, and I don't think I can do the bad bitch voice right now. <sighs> Something more stern, more serious. Uh, Kinda hard for me to get into that headspace right now. Ah. 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 Happy birthday. Well, yeah, I know I think about it, it's my birthday. But uh happy holidays. I don't I'm sorry, I got nothing. <laughs> it's not coming out. Brilliant. Happy holidays. Someone's happy. We held a party for the staff and their children. You should have seen the faces of those kids receiving gifts. Nabbing that Santa suit at the last minute the other day was totally worth it. Santa dresses seems to have been popular this year. I heard they were sold out in most places. There was this weird shortage of Santa suits, but luck was on my side this year. Sorry for that outburst. Is Kira happy? I'm... Um, I'm happy with being able to at least do this. <laughs> happy Kira birthday. Yeah. I share a birthday with... I share a birthday with... Martial artists. Uh, uh, martial artists, professional wrestlers, Klee from Genshin Impact. It's pretty cool. Why? You look so happy. I feel happy too. You shouldn't hide your happiness. Um. Anyway, can you give me a cobalt velvet, please? Sure. Cobalt Velvet. Two ally. Three planner guy. And five con and five karma trying. Oh on the 
Prox and Mix. Here. Thanks. Are you meeting up with Say today? She should be here in a bit. She told me she wanted a drink here, and since I was coming here too... Sadly, I can't stay for long. I have some errands to run. How has she been lately? She's better. Her wounds have been healing uh, really nicely. If only she stopped scratching at her bandages so often. What about her eye? Eye? Oh. Hers. So oh yeah, she's sen Stella's sensitive about her own eye. <laughs> It'll take longer to heal, but as long as it's kept clean, there should be no problem. But to be honest, I'm more worried about her emotional wounds. She doesn't show it, but she's had depressive bouts from time to time. And who can blame her? Her life changed completely. The job she loved no longer exists. She was used as a disposable pawn in the whole bank affair. I'm afraid it will all make her go back to her old ways. Old ways? That was a rough spot when Say was a teen. Her mom's clinic was about to close, then her biological father, who was an asshole, showed up. And the teachers at her school didn't help. Say is not a slow learner by any means, but her way of learning stuff is different. She needs equivalences to things she knows. You need to get a bit in her mindset. Once you get this, she's a fast learner, but schools don't have that kind of patience. They basically branded her a failure. She even dropped out. I was suggested a special course somewhere else, but that would have offended her. She's always been against being labeled as special or different. Anyway, Say was totally different during that period. <laughs> Foul mouth, short fuse, always frowning, the total opposite of how she is nowadays. From time to time, I see that old look cross her face and it scares me. If comparing her to her teen self, though, people mature. Maybe she'll show signs from time to time, but I bet Say knows better than to go back to that. I hope so. Give me something cold and sweet, will you? Sure. Cold and sweet. What track is this? Don approaches. So what would be cold and sweet? Frantini! Nope. Completely wrong. Piano Woman? Nope. Moonblast! Okay, it was a moonblast. Is there anything else though? Blue Fairy? Sparkle Star? Sugar Rush? Nope, Moonblast. On the rocks and blended, six Adelheid. One Powder Delta, one Planner Guy, and two Karma Trine. All on the rocks, mix, mix, swirl, mix, put it in the cup. Alright, we got a Moonblast. Here. Thanks. This is the kind of stuff Say acts for, you know. Now that you mention it, so... I take it Say's family situation isn't exactly fine and dandy, huh? It's a mess they've tried to fix over time, and I'm glad to say that they've actually done it. Say's mom had a... really abusive relationship with Say's biological father. Sadly, like women, many women in that situation, she tried to justify his actions. But, apparently things got nasty when Say's mom, Miss Emmy, got pregnant. At that point, she had an epiphany, one could say. She didn't want that guy to raise her child, so she finally sought help. Things weren't so easy, though. Before the authorities could take him away, Miss Emmy got a serious beating from him. She still uses a cane to walk, thanks to that. She moved here. Say was born. She started her veterinary clinic. It's 
So did he come back? He was drunk and couldn't find any drugs, so he made it to the city. He caused a ruckus for a couple of days until Say managed to scare him off. How? She beat him to near death. Three times. <laughs> Sorry, I shouldn't laugh, but... Oh, don't worry. I laugh too. The dramatic irony there is... is delicious. I've been wondering... Can you really be so calm in the lower parts of the city? Hmm? I mean... The streets are not exactly safe, and a cat boomer is sure to become a target. Well, I have my security staff with me at all times, so there's no problem. Besides, this part of the city is... comfier. Come again? Sure, Uptown is cleaner and maybe more secure, but it's also too... sterile. Around here, you can actually feel the warmth of the people. You feel... They're people living. I especially like going to a busy food stand. I feel a warmth there that Uptown doesn't have. It's also easier to talk to people. So, you finally came. Welcome. If you try to talk to someone in the upper part of the city, they either shrug you off or flat out ignore you. People around here are a bit wary, but they're also more likely to talk to you. Not that things aren't nice here. Nice there, though. Can I get you something? This track change to Say's arrival a little too perfect. I'm just saying. I feel like having a beer. Make that two. But I just want one. I'm asking for one for me. Adding one to your order. Oh, right. That. Two beers. Just get them one big beer. Have them share it. It'll be great. Alright. One beer. Pounded Delta to Flanagride or Comatron. Two beer. Serve it. Here. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. S <laughs> Say. You should have seen the kids after you left. They're all playing with the toys you picked. You nailed it. You nailed it again this year. They're all asking, where's Say? Where's Say? Why do they call you just Say when they call me Auntie Stella? I don't look that old. <laughs> don't worry, they still like you. Sorry I had to leave, but Mom worked overtime that night and I couldn't leave her alone. What happened? Well, there were fireworks and some dog thought it'd be safe to hide in a jar. The little guy managed to get his head and paw inside before getting stuck. And it was plastic so they couldn't just try to break it. That's messy. She needed someone to hold the dog while she worked. Poor fellow was scared. Well, I'm out. Oh yeah! We'll have a New Year's party this Saturday if you want to come. Sure. It's better than my, than depressing myself with my dad's woes about the next fiscal fiscal year. I should be there. Bye, Jill. Bye, Say. Careful. Please come again. You want to come too? I'd love to. I'll also make up for not coming last time. How was the party? Pretty nice. We played true for dare. Had some fun. Broke some glasses. Ate lots and lots of food. Seriously, looking back, the amount of food was ridiculous compared to the number of people who were there. Better leftovers than left hanging, don't you think? Yeah. Can I get you something? Let's try something classy. Okay. Classy. Classic. Mark even. Fringe. For the cobalt. Velvet.
cobalt velvet. Green flaming gun. Five carbon All on the rock. And mix. Something classy. Yep. <laughs> yep. This is the thing. Stella came in quite cheery about Sunday. This Sunday? Oh yeah. Well, you know, her birthday is actually the 25th. Really? There's a real, there's a weird story from when she was a kid. She heard Mega Santa's story and somehow she got into it. She got it into her head that by being born on the 25th, she was the spiritual reincarnation of the original Santa. That made her start giving out gifts like crazy. She got over it, but the gifting stuck to her. Spiritual reincarnation? Well, the story says the Redmond family destroyed Santa's, Santa's spirit, and that Mega Santa was born as a manifestation of the Christmas spirit. <sighs> she thought she was the old Santa spirit in a new body. <laughs> that girl was delusional as a kid. Huh. Speaking of things you did when you were young, Stella mentioned she worried about you going back to your old ways. Something about a rough period where you're angry or something? Oh, that. It's sweet that she's worried, but I won't go back to those days just like that, though. Even if I face the same situation, I'm more mature, you know? I'm not a teen anymore. Expected as much, told her as such. Hey, can you get me something bubbly? Sure. We get her something bubbly. Another cobalt belt. <laughs> oh, it's, it's probably gonna be another cobalt belt. Two ally. Three planning guys. Five common try. I wonder what happens if they say. If they're like, oh, you serve them the same thing. Let's find out. Here. Bubbly, bubbly. Hey, Jill. This might seem a bit random, but... Do you remember the first time I came here? Yeah, you're the second white knight I've served. I remember. Why? Precisely because of that. I've been meaning to ask you about that story. How was your other experience with a white knight? If I had to put it simply, the total opposite of you. Oh? She came here as part of her work, looking for information on some case. I went through the motions, offering her a drink and all that, but she came only for her job. At first I thought she was just another private art, but she showed me her badge and all. What kind of case was it? Hmm, I wouldn't know. She never told me, but she asked if I saw some people. She got pretty intense when I told her I had no idea who she was talking about. I suggest she asked the vending machines outside and they told her the suspect climbed on them. I remember the music in this game being pretty good. Yeah. The music in Valhalla is Valhalla if you ask me. She got her info and she left. Pretty professional, if a bit intimidating. She seemed personally invested in the case, though. That way she lost her cool was... Suspicious. You seem to be pretty good at reading people, Jill. It makes me kind of jealous. Nah, I'm not good at that. It's just a coincidence that I noticed it. But you noticed it. Uh-huh. One. I'm not good at reading people, even if the cue was thrown in my face, I wouldn't be able to see it. I'm sure you can compensate with another skill. Any particular reason you asked me about that event? Not really. I just found the fact that I was the only other white knight you serve. Weird. I mean, really? Just two? Weird, I know. I spent most of my life with almost no interaction with white knights until I met you. Means you've had a means you had a nice life then. <laughs> that sounded creepier than I thought. A bit, yeah. Well, I'm done for today. Thanks, Jill. Please come again. 
I'll go take my break, Gil. Sure. Oof. Oh, okay. I hope it goes without saying, but I've been sitting down for about eight hours and 30 minutes straight. And I haven't taken a sip of water within a part of those 30 minutes. And my, my bottom side hurts. Because I haven't really changed positions or did many motions. I'm going to definitely need to be more physical because if my body deteriorates and my neck goes boom, boom, pow, you know, that's not going to be any fun. Go take a 30 minute break right now. You'd be surprised at how many breaks I've been taking th throughout the stream. A lot of standing up, a lot of using the restroom and also grabbing food to eat. It was like a whole 10 minute break where I was just standing up and still talking to the mic. So I was a little bit distant, but that was while I was ordering the food. to make sure everything's good to go. But I'm also just trying to retrain my headspace. Um, give me one more second. I will, um, yeah, give me one more second. Should be back shortly. Because I, I am going to use this as an opportunity to uh, for the restroom break again. So, be right back. Okay. All right. All right. And also, okay. I feel a little less terrible. <laughs> Still feel a little bit how I look. I, I, I wish it didn't. 
didn't check the mirror when I was when I left off. Oh, oh gosh. Um, but basically, it's just side effects of well, no, the problem not the side effects of staring at a screen too long, but it could be. I'm not certain. I I think it's more so of me not feeling like I can get enough rest. But every time I try and lay my head down, I never get to rest long enough. Something or someone is basically is guaranteed to wake me up. Go for a 10 minute walk. Not in this neighborhood, dog. But yeah, just adjusting right now or readjusting. Sorry about the uh, literal silence on that, though. I going to take another drink of this water and finish out the shift. Ring guard doggo to protect you during walk. Well, you're the only guard doggo I know, so I'll I'll get the collar. It's now safe to keep playing. I wonder if I left food for four. Okay, I'm hit. Yo, dejected. Dorothy? Oh no, not dejected, Dorothy. Also, here's the hoping that the stream doesn't kind of crumble on itself. I know that I've been doing a marathon stream and like most games that I've been playing after it's kind of been like Hey, we're gonna stutter a little bit. I'm like, chill. I don't bark at the bad people so much that they'll be too scared to approach you. Oh, don't worry, she don't bite. Um... Dorothy? You won't get through the bar anytime soon. Stop walking. Ah, uh, honey. You want something? The usual, I guess. Usual. 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 Oh. Oh no. The problem is, I constantly forget what's her usual. And it happens every time. And I am sad that I forget it. I'm very sad that I forget it. I'm gonna try with a blue fairy, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get this one wrong. Not sure if sweet drinks will, uh, will properly get her working, but. All H and mix. And Blue Fairy. Here you go. Okay. You're freaking me out. What's up with you? Hey, honey. How do you know what's real? How so? I mean... How, how do you know if... What you see is an actual thing. How can you tell if what you see around you is actually happening? 
Yo, this is... What tells you everything is not actually a fabrication? What tells me I'm not just a simulation in a computer? And those ponderings brought to you... Brought you to the bar? What? Oh... I'm in the bar. Am I? Dorothy. So you're having a solophistic crisis of sort. Solifu what? Solophism. The theory that the self is the only thing that can be known to exist. See? That's another thing right there. That word. Solipsism. What does it even mean? Where the hell did he come from? Well, solace means alone and this means self. Yes, but how did it come to be? Do you expect me to believe that a lot of people just randomly decided to make noises and decide, hey, let's make this noise mean this? It doesn't make any sense. Words don't make sense. I've been repeating words for a long time and they've stopped making sense. Why? Calm down. That's just semantic satiation. I mean, sorry. No, I said that right. Stop making up words, honey. And then there's this counter. How can I be sure the counter is really here? It is. Please stop tapping it. Hold on, just making sure. <laughs> yeah. Relate to that girl who says words don't make sense. Yeah, Dorothy's great. I have no idea what drink to get her. None at all. Another sweet drink. Or maybe he... I don't remember exactly what that drink was. It's not as in star. Like, it was like, you added a fuck ton of alcohol into it. Ah, French. Weaver. I don't know if this is gonna work. But fuck it. This, this is probably not gonna go over well. Stop tapping the counter so much. I'm this close to throwing this at your face. Sorry. So let's start from the beginning. Since when did you have this essential crisis? Since earlier today, I think. But I don't know, it's all too sudden. I was thinking about everything that happened from a week ago until now. How much fun I was having, how much I loved everyone around me. And out of nowhere, the thoughts started piling up in my mind. What is love? Is it fun? Are those feelings real? Is all of that real? Am I real? Something tells me I'm actually in a body? Or what tells me I'm actually in a body? What if I'm just some computer somewhere thinking it has a body? What if I'm just a human girl in a comatose dream? What tells me that you're real? Eh? For all I know, it might just be a figment of someone's imagination. Or even just an AI simulation in some computer that thinks it's a human. I've been there, Dorsey. That... existential doubt and crisis? 
that uncertainty about whether or not things are real. It was a couple of months only, but I remember having panic attacks and scratching my arm to feel something. But the panic attack gave me a rush of adrenaline, so I couldn't feel the scratch and the fear got worse. What did you do to get over it? Oddly enough, I read a book. The Last Rain in the World, one of my favorites. At one point I cried with the book and I realized I was crying over fake things, a story and its characters. I didn't care less for them because they were fake. Why not think of reality like that too? Even if it's a figment of someone's imagination, I'd still care about you. That's what I told myself, at least. It wasn't immediate, but that focus helped me. <laughs> I like it. Hey, can I take this drink? I made it for you. Thanks. Okay then. She what? <laughs> Phew. Why did you throw it on your head? To feel something you made. And? It burns. And it's just a bit. I'll get you a towel. Delivery for Donna Zen. Oh, I've been in before. Is it? It's him. Mr. Mar Mr. Mario, welcome back. <laughs> yeah. I have a I have a delivery for Donna Zane. Who's that? She's my boss. I'll go. I'll get it for her. Right. Sign here, please. It's a big package. I wonder what's inside. You should open it. If it's something perishable, maybe it'll need to be refrigerated. Let's see. It's a wiener. A really big wiener. Hey, honey. Hmm? The big package had a big wiener inside. <laughs> what will your boss? Oh, what will your boss do with such a thing? I don't know how she'll cook it. Perhaps she'll chop it. Honey, seems the wiener is too big to eat correctly. S stop. Maybe you could prepare some right now. What do you say, honey? Do you want some of your boss sweet? <laughs> Seriously, Jill. She's the <laughs> She's the one making the jokes. And you're the one trying not to laugh too hard at them. Anyway, we all know if we dare cook this without her permission, she'll hang us upside down. She'll hang me upside down. Hey, Jacket Boy, what's your name? Um, Mario. Come on, Mario. I'll buy you a drink. Mmm. You might have another delivery, you know. This is the last one, actually. <laughs> I'll step your offer. I'll have a sunshine cloud. And you? I'm fine. Sunshine cloud. I'm just glad that he orders what he wants to order. What? I'm mad and the alcohol on the rocks and blend it. Here. Thanks. Hey, um. Call me Dorothy. You can also call me Darling for the right amount. 
Yeah, Dorothy. Why did you buy me a drink? Just to let you know, I don't swing that way. What way? Lilum? I'm a man's man. I like men, okay? Not that there's anything wrong with liking women, but... Oh, don't worry. I wasn't hitting on you. I was thanking you. Thanking me? Your package let me see Honey here laughing like an idiot. It's easier than you think. That made me happy and... I don't know. It fit with what she was telling me earlier. I'm more calm than when I entered. Hmm? Glad to help, I guess. Well, duty calls. Bye Mario, bye John, bye honey. Enjoy your big wiener. Out with you. She seems like a nice girl. I don't mean for it to sound like I... I get it, I get it. Don't worry, you like guys, it's clear. Speaking of, you like motorcycles, don't you? I do, yeah. Have you been to the motor district? I spend all of my free time in the motor district, actually. Why? Is it true what they say about all the illegal racists going on there? You're not a cop, are you? As far as I remember, no. Well, I mean, there are illegal races. But there are also a semi-legal league going on there. Semi-legal? The authorities acknowledge that there's races going on. I don't know what goes on in them, however. Modified engines, casualties, substance abuse. The illegal ones end up being safer in the end. Huh. Have you heard about a biker called Christine Love? Miss Love? Of course. Everyone knows who she is. What about her? Is her gang as dangerous as they say? I don't know. Nobody knows. Excuse me? They look intimidating enough, but the truth is nobody has faced them directly. Moreover, nobody wants to be the one that got beaten to a pulp if they turn out to be what they seem. So our gang is just there, menacingly doing their own thing, not bothering anyone. Oh. Do you want anything else? I don't have a piano, man. All right. I'm Powder Delta. Uh, Flaming Guard. Three Karma Turn. So, two Alpha Hide. Three Bronson Strike. Five Powder Delta. Five Flaming Guard. Three Karma Turn. All on the rock. And mix. Here. Yeah. This is nice. Hey. You two an item? <laughs> What are you trying to say with that laughter, Gil? No, we're not. What's wrong with you? Eh? You work with this hunk of a man and you don't feel at least a bit tempted? How can you be so calm with his smell so close to you? Ever heard of... Ever heard the expression, his past is a fucking weight I don't want to carry? Because his past is a fucking weight I don't want to carry. Relatable content. If he even has a past at all. I'm having my doubts lately. Are you implying he's not good game? Oh, don't misunderstand. Gil is good game. He's not bad looking. He's a gentleman. He's always attentive. But he's also distant and will take many steps back when he feels like he's getting close to somebody. You don't have to marry him. Just push him to a closet and... You know, wasn't this like the very line, one of the very first lines in the game? Eh, not interested. You annoy me, bartender. You don't see what you have right in front of you. I'm out. Please come again. Ah, Gil, you heartbreaking fuckboy. Back. Anything happen? I discovered I have the sense of humor of an eight-year-old. Did anything new happen? Hey! They brought you a package. 
Ah, yes. My curated wiener. It's a gift from my folks. It was delayed in customs, but here it is. You guys want some of it? <laughs> That's a new one. Have some pocket money. I'm out of excuses. Total fund, 6738 Will I have enough for that $10,000 rent? I have no fucking idea. Rent is due on the 30th. Please make sure your account is ne necessary $10,000 or you will be evicted. Jill wonders if Maneki and Neko's actually bring luck. Buy one to prevent her from getting too distracted. <laughs> You've been chuckling since yesterday. Meow meow, meow 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 meow. <laughs> Wiener. Okay. Alright. Now, as customary with these shifts, uh, I usually just read off the last couple of posts through the phone, and then I actually close that out. I'm probably not going to... Of course I'm not going to end the stream just yet, but... Yeah. This is going to be like the last step. Am I probably going to purposely, uh, am I going to uh, clip this out and then uh, put it up on YouTube? Maybe. Maybe. Danger you. Dangerous opinions. Huh. There's a threat on Valhalla. That bar called Valhalla. Is it any good? I need a place to unwind after work. Work. Fuck work. Norman's taking over, huh? Er, everyone is in need just like me. Anyway, place is cool, but the bartender can be a bit of a dick. How so? Never been there, so I wouldn't know. Is she cute? I can take it if she's cute. She's cute, but I think she's a bit full of herself. The guy seems a bit more of a bro. I see you already had a conversation with her. Did she reject your advances? Nah, I just heard from the distance. So, is that a no? Kinda. I mean, if you're going there, just to chat. Just want a place to chill for a bit and meet new people. Can I smoke there? Is there any bar from the BTC where you can smoke? Nope. Bummer. Well, I think I'm going next week then. Sounds good enough for me. So I'm full of myself? You are. You are! It happens. Okay. Okay. First space colony plans to develop its own army. Even though space was imagined as prom- huh? Okay. Even though space was imagined as the promised land, a place where humanity would start over, it looks like we're about to repeat our mistakes from the past. Our first space garden, our first space colony, Shin Out of Paradise, is currently in talks to develop its own privately owned armies, following alleged threats from a notorious terrorist group. We're discussing it right now, but the law is most likely approved. We'll have an army, and we'll defend our motherland from any terrorist threat. Alice Rabbit chimed in during a private stream. This terrorist group does not exist. Don't let the Out of Paradise government fool you. The only reason for this law is so they have more control over the population. Alice Rabbit is in space too? Amazing. Woman marries anime pillow. Nobody is actually surprised. I remember a time when wacky stuff like this made a lot of headlines. But even though I'm reporting on it, I can't help but think how mundane it is. I mean, we live in a world where you can just plug into the internet and live there for as long as your wallet can afford related fees. Lots of people get married in these virtual spaces thanks to new technologies. The transitional, the traditional views on human relationships have changed so much that someone marrying a literal object feels kind of tame now. If the pillow has some form of intelligence, it might be somewhat different. 
but it's just the plain generic anime hug pillow. With the times, Grandma. Wanna marry me? Can't marry your own son. I mean, Jill may be on something there. Okay. Why I I K? Yik! The final remaster leads the video game charts. The newest remaster of 2016's Yik, a postmodern RPG, opens the charts this week with 3.5 million copies shipped on its launch day. Other titles included this week includes releases such as Hatsune Miko Project Remaster and Sting's Face Remastered. Full chart, including lifetime sales. Yik, the final remastered. Hatsune Miko, Sting's Face, Water Pro. Dang it, run, Paul. Dang it, run, Paul. I, I get it, but why? Water Pro Wrestling G. This is the third final this year. Okay. Okay. Save one more time before we lose full consciousness. How much does a Maneki Neko cost? Too much. Okay. So, I even, I even had a quick session of that. And I'm still having a pretty good time. I mean, of course, aside from genuinely fighting myself to not fall asleep. But yeah, it's getting to the point where my stream may just do that fight itself but um nine hours in let me make myself no longer grossly incandescent Dizzy, but still here, still in it. I promise. Now, click back to that mode. Ghost Kara went poof. Yes. And I should, in theory, have reappeared by now. In theory. <laughs> 